reading letters from our haters guys i thought it'd be fun <laughs> if maybe we like just read a little bit of hate mail together um i could do a dramatic reading so uh if you don't know we what? have uh, a p.o box where you can mail us and sometimes i receive our mail and well i always receive our mail but sometimes i receive some special kind of mail and i love it when we receive um i like to call it you're going to hell mail so i thought maybe it'd be interesting to read together something i've received recently um this so this was the, sent to the atheist atheist republic's uh mailing address yes yes okay. link actually the the address is in the description if you guys want to send us anything but um here's here's one heaven or hell which one will you choose in what does it say <laughs> are you going to heaven or hell the bible teaches that many seemingly good people are going to hell because all have sinned okay you might be wondering yes there is hope god sent his only begotten son oh god i can't even continue okay let's look at this one insured to death <laughs> this one confused me because it starts to go into the this is look at this armin this is very confusing it starts to go into different types of insurance and then like the cost of insurance including alien abduction insurance terrorism insurance yeah and then it's like you know, you might spend a fortune insuring yourself against all these losses, but what about the loss you're gonna face at death? <laughs> <laughs> the soul, loss of your soul is mentioning yeah. your soul. I mean, then, hmm. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Quote for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? <laughs> <laughs> And is there anything else? Good? Yeah, repent for your sins. Ask Jesus to forgive you. Okay, okay. Now we have another one here. And this one's titled, Perilous Times Are Here. Mm -hmm. Now for this proof of our heading, different. let us turn and again read the words of St. Paul as found in 2 Timothy's chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. Oh, I'm not going to read this whole quote. This is super long. What the hell? Whoa, this, this takes a plot twist. Now I know the communistic spirit of the age is to throw up a smoke screen and, to, and begin to cry calamity howlers as soon as someone lifts his voice against the crimes of our day. Some are so dyed in the wool they think it is a crime to say anything about their de beloved denomination, even though they will admit that there is an awful falling away. But how is it wrong to be corrected if someone who does not does not cry aloud and spare not well whether we are labeled calamity howlers or whatever they may call it, it is high time that we are waking out of our sleep and like jeremiah of old crying thus saith the lord <laughs> these are different people sending this no this these all of these all of these came in one envelope oh okay Okay, and then because they're not the consistent in their ideology, it doesn't seem like no. Like I, I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm lost. Yeah, yeah, I'm struggling and I'm lost. Um, but the I like, crown jewel I, here is the handwritten letter. Mm. This is this is the crown mm. jewel here. Don't be caught dead without Jesus, dear mm. lost soul. <laughs> <laughs> That's at the name. I'm going to read it exactly how it's written so we can just, just, if this sounds crazy, okay, I'm just going to read it exactly as written. I'm not going to editorialize. That's at the name, the name of Jesus. Every knee, knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess Jesus Christ as Lord to glory to God the Father. You say there is no God? Yes, there is a God. It says in the book of Genesis in the Bible, that's where giants there were giants in those days also people have found be bones of people that are big as a tree limp and people have sharks teeth in the desert in the mountains and they found fossils in the mountains what 
I think I got it. I think it says that God is real because the Bible said, uh, the, the same Bible that talks about giants, that same Bible says God is real. And the Bible says that giants are real. And we have found bones of big people, which confirms that the Bible is real. And given that the same book said God is real, that, that's it. That pro that's our ultimate yeah. proof of God being real. We have and found bones of big people. But he said, and people have shark's teeth in the desert? I think... What the hell does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to my best here. Also, so <laughs> also the the rainbow is God's promise. He won't never flood the earth again. And before the flood, it never rain. The earth was water by a mist. Also, there are caves at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, cool. <laughs> Before the flood, the caves were lived in. After the flood, the caves were covered by water. That's why people who go dividing in the sea find caves. Diving. So ca no, but I know, but it says dividing. <laughs> <laughs> um. So the caves where above the ocean, that's why there are caves at the over of the bottom of the ocean. And they also found pieces of Noah's Ark too. Also the, the dogwood tree is the tree Jesus died on. They made crosses out of dogwood trees. After Jesus died on it, the dogwood tree grew short, broke out, branches so they couldn't make crosses out of the dogwood trees no more what? he's saying the dogwood trees were upset that jesus got killed on the dogwood tree so they stopped growing so that they could make crucifixes out make of crucifix. them also the sand dollar has a split in it for the spear that went in jesus <laughs> jesus side so i just proved to you that there is a god Oh, oh my God, Armin! We've been oh. looking for a claim. We've been looking for evidence the whole time, and we just found it. So the, said, the idea that there are caves, the fact that there are caves in the ocean shows that that there's a flood because obviously caves can only be above water, <laughs> right? So this this giant flood, yeah, I think so. That's what he's saying. So like, just look, there's caves underwater. So this shows that there was a global flood, and people lived in those caves. So and the dogwood tree is small, which shows that, the, oh, yeah, and dogwood tree is small now, so you can make crosses out of it. And we know that they made the Jesus crowd out of the dogwood tree. And you can see that the only explanation is that it made itself small in response. So these are all proof that God is real. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So explain oh, to so me there has, is no God. He has heard this before. Oh, he really? This, this, before. Is, this is new to me. Okay. Because you can't. God has blessed my life in so many ways. The church I go to treat me life family. Okay. They pay for my food when we go out to eat. They give me money, help me out. They also pray for me, encourage me. Well, that's all very nice. They also call me, check up on me. They give me a pizza party when it's my birthday. Well, that sounds very nice. They sound, that's nice. That's, yeah. They give me no, money for that's Christmas to nice. go. That's not nice. That's not nice. And, so the rapture is very near. Judgment Day is coming soon. Get ready. Whoa, that took a twist. That's... We went from pizza parties to Judgment Day is here. <laughs> yeah, because all of that proved that pizza party and all of that in the trees, Susanna. That means we have to shut down Atheist Republic. Guys, this is our last show, okay? Obviously, God is real. This has been proven. I've never seen a more solid proof. So today we announced, Susanna, this is the last show of Atheist Republic. Yeah, where's your book? You can throw away your book now. Why there is no God? Like, we know why now. No, we yeah, know yeah. that there is. Sorry. We finally it's found been fine, that guys. evidence, that claim that was going to It's <laughs> Yeah. It's been fun, guys. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> okay. I don't I'm know. It's, it's so yes. interesting to me. Like, it's so, from a psychological level, like, it's just so clear. It's like, God has blessed me in my life. And then it spends, like, several sentences talking about just, like, people being in their life and being nice to him. <laughs> like... I'm happy for that person that they have that, right? But yeah, like you have people that pay for your food when you go out and they help you and encourage you. Like that's awesome. I'm happy for you. 
But why do you need? I'm to not happy. That? I'm not happy. I'm not happy for you because people paying for your pizza means that God is real. So I'm not happy. So like, <laughs> that, <laughs> that means that I have wasted my life. Why? <laughs> we should. You know I what? Should, I'm not should. happy. I'm not happy. I'm Fuck not your happy. pizza you party. Be... <laughs> I want you to be sad. No, I'm kidding. Oh my god. No, I'm not. It's fine. It's good. It's good. That's fine. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese gods, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.